Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad you're here with me this Sunday morning. Um, we're going to have a great time. We're going to start with our Bible point, and it is we can trust God. Trust God. Remember, whenever you hear me say that, you're going to say, trust God with me. Our memory verse for this month comes from Psalms 33, 4, and it says, For the word of the Lord holds true. And we can trust everything he does. For the word of the Lord holds true. And we can trust in everything he does. Psalms 33, 4. All right, boys and girls. Our story today, we're going to keep reading about Abram. Now, we met Abraham in the book of Genesis in the Bible. His name used to be Abram. But God changed it when he made Abram a special promise. God said Abraham would have a big family and they play a special part in God's plan. It would start with a baby. It took a long time for God's promise to come true. Day after day, year after year, Abraham and Sarah got older and older, waiting and waiting to have a baby. It may have seemed like God had forgotten. Then, one day, something happened. And that's where today's Bible lesson begins. Three important visitors showed up when Abraham wasn't ready. He had to, well, I'll tell you about it. <clears throat> Imagine, Abraham is sitting in the doorway of his tent. Suddenly, Abraham looks up and sees three very important visitors. Abraham leaps to his feet and runs and bows to them. Let's all take a bow like Abraham. Go ahead, show me your bow. Take a bow. Good job. <clears throat> then Abraham invites them in to a meal. The visitors agree. <clears throat> so Abraham runs home and tells Sarah to bake bread. Abraham takes all the food to the visitors and they eat a feast. Let's pretend to chow down. Pretend you're eating lots and lots of yummy, yummy food. It's good. They're eating. One of the visitors says, I'll be back this time next year. And by then, you will have, a, and Sarah will have a son. Now, Sarah she was in another tent and she was eavesdropping. I mean, she was listening in on their conversation. And she got her hands behind her ears so that she could hear better. Let's listen with Sarah. Put your hands behind your ears like you're listening. Good job. So much time has gone by. And Sarah's way past the age where she can have a baby. When she hears what the visitor says, she laughs to herself. She thinks it's funny. So let's all laugh to ourselves. <laughs> I want you to laugh really loud. See if you can laugh really loud. Even louder than that. Nice job laughing. Let's find out what Sarah said to herself as she chuckled. And I'm going to read from Genesis chapter 18, verses 12 through 14. And it says, <clears throat> Sarah laughed within herself saying, After I'm old, will I have pleasure? My Lord's being old also. And the Lord said to Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Should I really bear a child when I am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return to you according to the time of life, and Sarah will have a son. Wow, nothing is too hard for God. Even though Sarah and Abraham were really, really old, God said, it's not too hard for me. I can do it. If I say Sarah's going to have a son, Sarah will have a son. That's why we can trust God. Trust God. Abraham and Sarah had been waiting and waiting, but it just didn't seem like the prom God's promise was going to come true. Maybe you know what that's like. Maybe you're waiting and trusting God right now for something to happen. 
But even while we're waiting, you still need to trust God because he always keeps his promises. No matter what we're waiting for, we can trust God. Trust God. Well, back to the story. The visitors finish eating and they go on their way. Bye visitors, can you wave to them? Say bye. But a year later, guess what Sarah is doing? She is rocking a little baby boy in her arms. That's what. Let's all pretend we're babbling like babies. How did that happen? Let's find out. I'm gonna read from Genesis chapter 21 verses 1 and 2 and it says and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the Lord did to Sarah as he had spoken for Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time which God had said so God said he made a promise and when God makes a promise he keeps it and he said Sarah you're gonna have a son and she did and Sarah named her son Isaac which means he laughs. No wonder Sarah trusted God. God kept his promise to her. And we can trust God. Trust God to always keep his promises because he always does. So no matter what, no matter if you think God's not listening, God's not working, he is. He is there and you can always trust him no matter what. All right, boys and girls, let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and I'm going to say a prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for this promise that we can always trust you, that you always keep your promises, even though we don't think that sometimes it's not happening fast enough. We know that you have a plan and we can trust you and that you will fulfill that promise that you make to us. We love you, Jesus. Be with us this week. Amen. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next Sunday.